Welcome to Matters With. I'm your host, Philip Bryan. Today, we're here to discuss book matters with you. Critical matters. Criticism matters. Opposable thumbs. How Siskel and Ebert... What is it? How Siskel and Ebert changed movies forever by Matt Sanger. Oh, Siskel and Ebert, two thumbs up, looking ass boy. Thank you, Siskel and Ebert. I like Gene Siskel. Whatever. The spake Ebert. But Ebert over here don't give a shit about that kind of thing. Quite simply, the title is honest and straightforward. It explores the history of Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert, their impact on the film industry, pop culture, and one another. Look, before there were countless self-appointed know-it-alls spewing their opinions on this platform and broadcasting it to millions or thousands or hundreds or tens, there was Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert. Myself and every other person reviewing something on here stand in the echoes of their excellence in the craft of criticism. Not only that, but many corners of local, cable, and national news media do as well. They are the platinum standard. Matt Singer's book walks us through their meeting, their rivalry, their review philosophies, their success, their friendship, and their respective illnesses. Also their passing and their legacy. If you are a cinephile, a pop culture historian, or simply someone who loves movies, I recommend this read because it'll bring a smile to your face and you might even learn something. I certainly did. Two very enthusiastic thumbs up. And two thumbs up, right? But not, not the regular thumbs up, the double thumbs up. Two, double barrel. My favorite part of the book was their personal journeys from young writers to household names. They were champions of film, both the craft and the art. We have all benefited from their contributions to the industry. Opposable Thumbs is well written. It saved being a little long-winded. Listen, writing about gifted writers is a huge undertaking. Roger Ebert won a Pulitzer Prize. Singer takes on that task with knowledge, insight, reverence, compassion, behind the scenes stories, and humor. They are just funny it is life closely observed it is 352 pages in hardback from gp putnam and sons the audio version is nine hours and 35 minutes from penguin audio and it is read by the author the written version is somewhat better than the audio version yeah well everyone has a dry spell ebert but i give them both a thumbs up and that's two thumbs up nice work matt what are your memories of siskel and ebert we'll talk soon That's next week, and until then, the balcony is closed.